What's up, what's up, what's up? It's Southern Man Alive. It's your boy, Jermaine Gear, cutie with the big booty, is here with you, and we're here with you and your family to help y'all cook, communicate, and celebrate each other. All jokes aside, this is. Yeah. Yes, Jermaine's wife, Mrs. Southern Nana. All right, so today, hey, we continuing what I said it is. It is the month of the sauce. Sauce boss here for you. It's the month of the sauce. Today, we doubling it up. We got that double trouble. Hey, I'll just say we got that. Today, we are, my wife, Tamika, is doing a lime sour cream. Oh. The difficulty level is like one twin. Two. <laughs> two. Okay, okay. One. But one all right. Five. All right. So, and then I am doing a what we call chimney cherry sauce. And it is actually going on some steak tacos that we are preparing for my wife tonight. So, honey, we'll go ahead and get started on your end. Are you ready? Pressure, 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 sure pressure, am. pressure. So listen. Oh, no, we use a half a cup. Half a cup of sour cream. Yes. Then we have half of a lime. The one thing that he told me, I, I remember, you have to roll the lime to keep it warm. Yeah, roll it, like roll it on the table to kind of like open some of the juice up in it. So when it is time to actually juice the lime or squeeze that lime, oh, it helps the juice come out quicker. Okay, so now. Drip. Yeah, she got a little drip on. She got, she got a little drip. I think more can come out. Yeah, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that's gonna flavor that because we only, we, it's only a half a cup of uh, lime sour. Oh, excuse me, only half cup of sour cream in there. So you just put it back in the bowl, baby, because I'm gonna use that the other half over here. Thank you. You can put this in water. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna use this water. Oh, okay, so I'm using this really lovely whisk. Okay, here. 
we have half a cup of roughly chopped cilantro. Roughly chopped cilantro. My favorite herb. Yeah, this is our house favorite herb. We're gonna add that in there. Yeah, we're gonna add that in there with the parsley. Then we have another one of our favorites in the house. Cumin. Cumin. A little bit of cumin. So we're gonna shake a little bit of cumin, and most of these seasonings, seasonings are gonna be the taste, but you wanna be careful about how much cumin you put in there, um, cause it's really, really strong. It smells so good. Yeah, it does, it does smell good. And the next, the next thing, I usually like to use fresh minced garlic in my um, chimichurri, but uh, today we're actually just gonna add a little bit of uh, garlic powder. You can add a little garlic salt, but if you use garlic salt, um, just be mindful of how much regular salt you use. Okay, so now we're gonna add a little bit of salt. And all, like I said, all these seasonings are to your preferred taste. It's okay. Some people like it salty, some people like it, some people like it spicy. It's okay. Um, the next thing I like to add is my olive oil. And you wanna get a decent brand of olive oil. Um, it don't have to be like $12 a bottle, but like you do, you really do wanna get a nice, nicer, mid-grade version of olive oil because the taste, it does taste different. You, you will taste the difference. So, now I'm gonna pour that in there. So we're gonna pour in about one cup. Is that your bottle? Yeah, because it's literally like, yeah. Y'all know how I feel oh, about olive yeah. oil. Yes. So, now, bottle one is going to the dirty dish side. <laughs> now here, we have just your simple um, bottle of distilled vinegar, white vinegar. Um, that's that's going to go in as well. So we poured in about three quarters of a cup. We're going to call that three quarters of a cup of olive oil. So we're going to pour in about a quarter cup of uh, distilled lemon. I mean, excuse me, distilled vinegar in there with it. And then my 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 favorite. I usually like to add um, crushed red peppers, but we're going to add a little tiny. That's going to be spicy. It's not going to be spicy. It's not going to be. Spicy. I know, I know your level of spice. You can handle this. Okay. Yeah, I know your level of spice. So we're gonna slide all of that over there. Okay. Hopefully, you have a case of that. I hope. It's a possibility. Yeah. So now, next next step, literally, it's just a whisk. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna list these in the um, either in the description below and or on the actual screen so that you can remember. Because um, the, chim the chimichurri does have a lot of ingredients, but it's, it's worth it, I promise. I smell vinegar. Yeah, you smell the vinegar, right? Of course you smell the vinegar. Alright, so, I don't know if y'all can see this, but this is what it looks like. Y'all seen the, the video with uh, the, the musician, the artist that we had on, Rashawn, my boy. Love you, Rashawn. Appreciate you, man. Hope your birthday week was great. Thank you for coming on with us. Um, but the video with Rashawn, we actually did chimichurri and lime salt. So this is the actual video to show y'all how to make this stuff. So, so what else can go with chimichurri? What else? Oh, steak. Steak. It goes really well with steak. It, it, it actually, we can actually use it as a marinade for steak. Okay. Um, and it goes really well with fish. Um, my wife has some tuna steaks as well. And we're gonna actually use this on the tuna steaks um, as well. So, um, what else can I, 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 I think that's pretty much all it. You said lime. Huh? You said you use lime. Oh, I'm so sorry, y'all. Yes, final, final, final thing is the lime. That half a lime that you use for, thank you so much, baby. That's I have why, no power. That's why, that, oh girl, you see that juice, you can make that thing juice like that. Yeah, that thing know. is raining, raining. Sorry. Yeah, all right, so now we're gonna stir it in again. Stir, stir it in again. Now with this sauce, chimichurri, you don't have to like get a whisk and like go mad, go crazy. Um, it's a, it's, you know, all these sauces are gonna marry because everything isn't, it's not a complex sauce. Um, you kind of want to get that uh, 
a taste of salt here, a taste of cayenne there, a taste of garlic there. Are you going to um, taste it? Um, I smell it. But yeah, I can taste it. Would it make you feel good? It made me feel good because I taste my sauce and my sauce is really good. Mm. That's the taste. It's the taste? Yeah. Yeah. I smell vinegar. Yeah. No, yeah. I'm going to be honest. It probably could use like a, another quarter cup of olive oil. <laughs> you use a lot but, of vinegar. No, I taste it. I mean, it's good. It's, it's doable. Um, I think the lime actually helped help marry those sauces together. Let me taste it. Let me see the judge. I want to get a little bit. No, no. Okay, go ahead. No way. No way. The only reason I like it and I don't feel like the vinegar is too vinegary. go with three quarters of a cup of olive oil um, or to a to a full cup of olive oil. I depend upon your preference, okay? So we're gonna actually put this these sauces. So what you're saying is you make the chimichurri to the liking of your taste buds, but you can learn if you like vinegar. Right, right. You can use more vinegar right. if you like the taste of olive oil, you can use more olive oil. Right, and so you can always start low and then add because you can't take away. So, <laughs> Yeah. So now we're gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna lay. Let me do the chimney cherry first. So actually, what we have here is just. Um, this is actually. I did some slow roast uh, chuck roast today. Um, I slow roasted it with some peppers and onions. What? Yeah, and I actually roasted it. So I actually had it on the rack. Blah blah blah. Y'all don't get it. <laughs> but uh, I slow roasted it, and we have um, some uh, uh, thinly sliced romaine here for the lettuce bed here and now the next layer here we are going to add some chimichurri and then i'm going to add my fabric uh, let me add let me add the chimney on both of them so you can let's see let's see what your what your painting skills look like on this top i'm a makeup artist because i'm not i'm not going to edit okay it's going to be a I'm one a it's going to be a one and done let's see I challenge you, you might want to stir it a little Jerry, bit. Let me, I'm, I'm, I'm a stir from the spirit. I'm a makeup artist. Yeah, well, come on, paint this thing. I on think it needs more liquid. No, no. No. Okay, okay, she's making it drip. I see you. Oh, boy, I tell you, I got guests coming on the show looking just as good as me. Better. Yeah. <laughs> Something else that will probably go well with this is like maybe some thinly sliced onions or some diced tomatoes. Oh, the green onions. Yeah, or the green onions. Yeah, the green onions would be good. With them. But I think I'm, my mouth is watering. Yeah, she won't eat y'all. But see, I'm not eating red meat like that. Yeah, she's not. So, um, but she's gonna eat it tonight though. <laughs> she's gonna eat it tonight. So y'all, thank y'all so much for watching. Hashtag Black Lives Matter. We love you. God be with you. Um, I was going to say, what you guys say? Thank you guys for all the support on the videos and comments. It means a lot to my husband and I. Um, Southern Man is doing great things. So just stay connected with us. If you're not following our business page, make sure you follow that and share with your friends. All right. So, the plug, the spoke. So, we love you. Thank you. And y'all have a good week. Bye.